Hey guys, it's Agonis Dillmer again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the procedure generation with buildings that we created in the previous couple of videos. The video that I'm going to be focusing today, it's going to be adding a theme. And the theme is going to allow us to basically customize how we want the buildings to look like. They may have different colors, they may have a different shape. So what I'm going to do is show you and walk you through the process and then we'll jump into Unity and also do some coding. So let's jump into Unity right now and start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what we're going to be doing today, which is to implement something like a template, which is going to be a, a theme that we can assign to the building. So I show you in the previous videos how I can do, you know, different styles. So if I were to let me go ahead and save this change. If we were to look at the style, this has one style. If I look at the dark day, which is another scene, that one has a different style. So what I want to do instead of going into the hierarchy and assigning this individually, I want to be able to do and use a theme that can, you know, it can be swapped really easily. And then that way I can style, you know, if I want a building with lights like this, with windows that have lights, then I can apply it. I change the template or the theme. I think I'm going to call it theme just for now then we can you know we can change the style so what i'm going to do to do that is i'm going to use what's called a scriptable object and i don't create those very often so we're going to be looking at the unity documentation to do that i'm also going to be creating a new folder here this is going to be for the theme so i'm just going to call it let me just call it theme and then we can put all the implementation in there and then this one it's going to be let's go ahead and create a new c sharp script this one is going to be my theme scriptable object and then this is the one that is going to control you know what properties we have and then it's going to allow us to use the editor to create a new theme which is going to be creating a file in the system which is going to be a serializable file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and open it up we're also going to be looking at the documentation i'm not going to lie to you i don't do these all the time so I'm going to go to docs.unity3d.com manual class scriptable object and I done it a couple of times I just never remember the the syntax so we're just going to go ahead and copy I know exactly what we need I just don't remember the the name and then what I'm going to do instead of just calling this data we're just going to call this one theme we can say building let's go ahead and call it building theme or let's just call it theme since the, the script is going to be called theme and I might I might change the names now that I'm looking at Progen. Let's go ahead and call it Progen thing. That way we can brand everything with that name. And then this one is going to be the Progen theme. That way we can keep, you know, everything. Everything is going to be kind of named the same and, and it's more, you know, it's more organized. So let's go ahead and go back into Unity and make sure we go ahead and rename the file as well. Progen theme, a scriptable object. Now if we go back into VS Code, we should have that name. And the other thing that we can do here, let's see what this is complaining. Oh, it's complaining because we, let's go ahead and close it. Now we have two files. And I'm going to, okay, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and get rid of this one. And delete it. There we go. And now we can go into, okay, so we're good to go. So, and then the next thing that I'm going to do is menu name. I don't know that I that I like that name. So I'm just going to say, I'm going to put this one under, under project and then another folder called theme. I might have some editor tools after under project. So that's what I'm putting this one under theme. And then this is going to be the name of, this is actually going to be the, the, uh, the menu option. So we can just say create project theme. I believe that's how that works. And then we can ba basically just get rid of those. Then, so Unity shows you here that you can use, you know, public for all the variables that we're gonna be exposing. For this video, I'm not gonna do them all. We're just gonna do, we're just gonna do couple. And maybe we'll start with the walls and then in the next videos I can do, I can do more. So I'm gonna go back into my project and we're gonna be looking at some of the options in here that I have. So. If we look at the project, we have, well, right now we just have a wall prefab and then we also have a what's called roof prefabs. We can do roof or we can do, so let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and do roof. Let's move these two settings to the, to my project theme. So I'm just going to go ahead and move those. And then we're just going to put them right here. And it looks like Unity says that you need to use public. And if I go here, 
I'm just gonna follow their instructions and then we can we can change it if we you know as we get into it. And then instead of making this one private, it's gonna be public. So 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 far we just have two settings, right? One is from one of them is actually two variables. One of them is gonna be the root prefab, and then the other one is gonna be the randomized room, room selection. So we're gonna end up removing it from here and then adding a reference to this to basically here. So what we can do here is we can say private and then I can say progen a scriptable object and this is going to be my theme right I'm just gonna call it we can just call it theme instead of what what unity is suggesting that we use and or intelligence is suggesting that we use come on let me use what I want to use okay there we go theme and then I'm gonna just make this one serializable and and I can probably just get rid of so for now let's go ahead and just comment them comment them just in case I get an error and then we don't have to there we go so right now we don't we have them in here so if I do theme and I were to so we can find out where the where we have errors you can see that I have an error there and and that's because this is not you know that is not available there anymore I can just say theme and then random roof selection so now that comes from the scriptable object I'm going to use the same thing here I'm going to use the same thing here so it's as easy as that just changing you know where the data is coming from but you're gonna see the power of it in just a second so I don't believe we need this anymore so let's just go, go ahead and get rid of that and I think we're good here so so this is pretty easy right and you might say well don't worry that it's cool but how do I use it what what's the benefit and and the benefit is that we can create a file and we can store the references in a file I can swap the theme pretty easily so what I'm gonna do to show you the power of it we're gonna go back into unity and let's say that we want to you know we want to create a new building and that new building it's going to use the theme so what I'm gonna do instead of and let me let me make sure that I didn't break everything else it looks like I did break everything else because the the other ones weren't using weren't using themes so we're gonna have to go back and fix everything so for now what I'm gonna do I'll fix that later but I'm gonna have it fixed so that the code is all clean so for now let's go ahead and focus on the roof and let's say that the roof we we know the theme for the roof because we're looking at it right now and but we haven't created a scriptable object yet and I told you that I wanted to keep basically the themes in a folder this is gonna be the theme for the theme implementation for the scripts the actual code when I create a new a new folder here and this folder it's going to be for the actual scriptable objects that are going to be creating so I'm just going to call it let's go ahead and just call it theme because it's going to be at that level all right so it looks like i found an issue and it was very very clear that the issue was i needed to inherit from a different from a different uh, actual object so this is going to be a scriptable object and i knew that i needed to do it i just didn't see it when i was doing it so make sure that you inherit from that otherwise you're not going to be able to create the, the scriptable object and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back into my my theme folder we're gonna go into assets create and then now we're gonna have a new option called progen and then theme and also so what I'm gonna do let's go ahead and go back here and let's actually put this one under progen I was gonna keep it under a different folder but I think that's just it's just too much so what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and go back create progen and now I can create a progen theme so I'm gonna click on that and this one is gonna be let's go, go ahead and call this one the default theme this one is going to be the most basic one for now. We're just going to have some, you know, some initial roof prefabs, and then we can, you know, we're going to be randomizing. So this is the power of it. So now it has a file. If let's say that I want to create another one, this one it's going to be the dark theme. Then I, I can go ahead and do that. So if I do a default theme and then I want the roof to be randomized, let's say that I want to have the roof to have about five different roofs. I can select them from here. And then I can go into my prefabs and say, okay, you know what? The first roof, it's going to be, we can do just a roof simple. This is going to be normally what I do. The other one is going to have an AC. We're also going to have a solar. We can have a solar at rest. We can have the one with the air conditioner. And then with the air conditioner that is tall. We, you know what? We also need a tank. So let's go ahead and increment this. I'm going to have a water tank on them. And now we have this one right so let's say that we wanted to do on the other one we didn't want to have that many roof we just want to have maybe two roofs I think it's enough and then we do want to randomize it then what I can do is I can go into prefabs and I'm gonna do you know roof simple 
and let me make sure that this is it looks like it's compiling right now let's go back into my themes go ahead and look at the okay there we go and then I'm gonna do my roof simple here and I'm also going to be attaching a roof with an AC and I think that's that's plenty right now what we can do and what's powerful about this is I can go into my project and and now I have what's called a theme and I can go ahead and go into my theme and I want to say you know what I'm going to attach this one to the to the default theme and you can see that the default theme got, got applied if I were to change this the default theme only has two different options so if I go ahead and increment here the height or I only get so in this case I'm using so I'm using this one this one has a, an array of different six of, of six, six components so I have a variety of components I have a water tank I have the air conditioner with two and so on so let's say that I want to you know I want to do the one that doesn't have the you know that many rows so I can just use the dark theme and and dark theme only has two different ones is one of them is a simple and one of them is what with the air conditioner so that easy I can change you know whether I want a theme that has you know it just basically has a variety of things so if I want to add to this, it's really easy. All I really need to do is, okay, I wanna go back to VS Code and we start looking at migrating all the components. I could say, okay, you know what? I'm also going to move these properties. So all I really need to do is just copy this, go into my scriptable object here, and I'm gonna remove the serializable field. And, and that's it. I mean, that that's everything that we that we need to do to move it. I need to go back here, and now this is gonna complain because it can't find it. And then all I really need to do is just say theme that include roof, and then that's it. And all we have to do is just generate the, you know, generate a new scriptable object that has that new property, and then that way we we can basically associate that property with the theme that we are creating. So it looks like this is complaining. Let's see why it's complaining. Oh, it's complaining because there's no, it's actually in multiple places. So if we look at this one, this is also going to be, so this is now going to be in a in a different property, right? This is on the, and this is a different class. So what I need to do as well is we're gonna have to go into my progen and I'm gonna have to make this one, expose this one. So I'm just gonna use a property for that. We can just say, you know, I'm gonna expose the theme. It's gonna be a theme and we can just expose a getter. That way we don't need to we don't need set it from anywhere else other than from here and then I can just say theme and we can probably just keep this one easier let's go ahead and change the syntax here I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do it this way this is the new syntax that C sharp provides and now we have a property that we're exposing and what I'm gonna do is that since I expose everything here on the I like to keep those ones right after we have all the other declarations so properties, I keep them on the bottom. Okay, so that's that piece. And then now the randomizer is gonna want a theme. So I'm just gonna say theme because it's my property. And then I can do the same thing here. And I believe those are all the errors that we needed to fix. Let's go ahead and go back into Unity and then see if we're clear. So it looks like we're clear. And what's cool about it, you can see that now I have this include roof, right? And I can go into my, my theme and I can say, okay, you know what, I wanna include on the dark theme, I don't want to include a roof, so I'm going to leave that one on check, and then on this one, I'm going to say, you know what, I do want to include a roof. So what I can do now is if I change, so remember the dark one didn't, I think that one wasn't including a roof. So if we were to regenerate these and I say five, now you see the theme now has that option. We are modifying this through a theme, and then the theme has that option, therefore we don't include a roof. So now if we go back into the dark theme, into the actually the default theme. The default theme has a roof, so that's why that one is included in that option. Let me go ahead and go back into the dark theme here, and then go back here, and then change this one back to dark, and then we can see that everything is working. So that's really powerful, and um, I hope this was really beneficial for you. If you guys have any questions about it, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you much for watching today. I really appreciate your time, and if you have any questions about anything that we just coded, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me on Patreon.com where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.